Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. And I haven't posted in like six months. Um, kind of crazy, I know. I just been super busy with school and you know, just haven't really thought of any other YouTube ideas and stuff like that. But you know, I just kind of thought I want them right now. And I'm gonna be showing you how to make a showcase and if you hear any background noises just ignore that but you know yeah so yeah also i'm i've been going to the creator mall a lot so if you ever want to like join me or anything my username is here on onyx's right here and yeah so let's get into the video so i'm gonna be showing you how to make a um a showcase which looks something like this um so I'll be teaching you how to make my showcases on PC. Um, but yeah, just on PC. Sorry, mobile players. I'll see if I can do one on mobile. But you know, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start with you know how to make a showcase. So basically, showcases are a way of like you know going on like Twitter, for example, and making you know just promoting your clothes in a way. It's like, oh, this is a new outfit that I made and looks like this. So, you know, something like that. And those are the showcases and you could just, oh, ignore that. And you could just, you know, promote them on social media or anything like that. So, um, I guess we'll get started. So, I asked my friend Jolyn and she was so kind enough to, you know, let me use one of her designs as an example to show you how to make showcases. So, we're gonna, you know, use that so as a showcase so first we gotta look at the clothes first thing you gotta do is think look at the clothes and be like okay what kind of background kind of suit this design well this is like a christmas outfit so we'll find something that's like christmasy like i don't know so let's go and search up like christmas also like definitely do it on pinterest because they have better stuff here so you just search up like and also you want to look at the color too so it's giving like red so it would be like christmas christmas uh backgrounds something like that uh see if you can find anything that definitely matches or usually if i can't really find anything i usually just like actually you know what you'll see so basically oh god okay so just find a background that matches of course definitely want to play with like snow or something like that i don't really know um so we'll just keep looking we got this one that one's cute we could use this one as an example yeah why not let's use this as an example so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to copy image address and i'm gonna go on pixlr um, because I need to make it smaller since this is like a more of like a wallpaper, like an iPhone wallpaper, um, on the wrong stuff. Okay, so, so yeah, basically just copy your the thing there. As you can see, it looks like this. And then I'm gonna go to the crop tool. And then I'm just gonna go to size. And we're gonna make it like even. So we could do like, I don't know, let's go with... Hmm. Four thirty. Four thirty, maybe. So something like that. I don't know, something like that, maybe. And then boom. So that'll be your background, and you just save it. So you know, ignore any background that's going on. Okay, so then we're gonna open up the- oh, so ignore this, this is just a new design I'm working on, so ignore that. So, that'll be your, um, your background. Guess I had a, I had a brain fart. And then you could just put your design in here. Oh god, okay. Actually, okay. So if, it look, if your design like looks like this, and like it looks kind of weird because like the, this is way smaller than the background just you know what just make it smaller go to edit image size and then let me just make it like 330 see if that works and then go to examples and then add your design there and then it looks a little bit 
like that. So, yeah. I think that looks good. So, usually in some designs, um, you there there's like the showcases where they have no mannequin underneath the clothes and there's some that do have a mannequin i'll just find a good example like this one has a mannequin see the skin and stuff that one has a mannequin mine's usually don't because it looks kind of better i don't know why so you can see this is without a mannequin and this is with a mannequin um so we're gonna keep having a ring for it right now so we're gonna blur gosh and blur the background so that you know the clothes the design really stands out um so maybe like that is good um and let's see i guess we could do with a background i mean i'm not background a mannequin but i don't know okay you know what it's fine it's fine okay so i guess we could start off with is so joan already has her watermark her signature love the signature Dolan. oh my god anyways so we're going to grab this white usually i put my um okay let's make like a you know what hold on i don't know where to start actually okay so i guess usually what i do is like hmm i guess you could do this in two ways you can do this like you could duplicate your design layer and then go to like then make your thing like your brush black and then go to project alpha and then just scribble like this and then just put that in the bottom and then you could just do so like this you know so it gives like a nice shadow look and you could like blur it if you want you could do it like that i don't do it like this ever but this is just that's, that's just an option. You don't have to do it like this. And then you could just go to overlay. Actually, no, you probably shouldn't do overlay. Maybe like multiply or like, yeah, it's something like that. But in this case, I don't really use that, but that's just an option. I don't know, something else I can, something, eh, okay. Something else that is good is that I usually do something like this. So basically I make a white blob on the design that traces it, if that makes sense. Like, see how I'm, I'm tracing it? Um, ignore that. Um, and then see like just tracing the outline of the design beautiful and then what you do is that you just blur it gosh and blur it and then i usually go to add so it gives that like that good effect and then i usually lower the opacity so that's another way you can do it and then of course the other way is the mannequin but yeah, usually I do like this, but you know, I'm like work well with red, but you know it's okay. Well, we're making it work, so we could do like this as an example. You don't have to, but it is really up to you. If you want to buy like mannequins and stuff, you could just go to like Discord servers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I guess we'll start off with how I decorate my showcases. So usually what I do, the first thing I would do after is I would make a white border like this so i'll make a white border and then i will go to overlay and then i will lower the opacity i don't know i feel like the border looks kind of nice i don't know what it is but it just does for some reason it looks nice and then um i guess and then what i also do is that i have like a million brushes on this app um called fire paco it's really nice not a lot of people use it but i recommend it um so i have this thing called a stitch tool a stitch brush oh my god a stitch brush and usually what i do is showcases that i make this literally stitches see so if you came out wait i don't know if y'all can see that wait okay so i make like these little stitches around the border so yeah that and that's really it and then i do add and then i just lower the opacity 
So that's what I really start off with the border and then a stitch border. And then something else I do is I add glitter. So this is my glitter brush and I just go like this. That's my glitter. You know, it kind of represents like snail-ish, maybe. Um, okay, something else. Um, I guess what, what's good in this type of Christmas scenario is that maybe get like snow effects or something. Like, uh, oh, I'm trying to find it. Powdery snow. So like, so like, okay, that's the wrong layer. You gotta make new layers every time. So you just, you know, make the snow. And then you just use whatever blending tool you want. As you can see, it's not looking too bad. It's a little bright, but you know, it's all good. I guess you could keep blurring it in the background if you really want to. Maybe like, like that is good, maybe. Okay, so something like that. And then we just lower the snow. Um, or you don't have to do white, you can always do like black if you wanted to. So, like, you could do like black and then overlay it, I guess. Like, oh my god, okay, like that. Only if you want to, but I feel like the black looks kind of dirty, but it, it's always it also depends on the showcase. But I usually prefer white, it looks better and makes it look nice. Um, I guess another thing you should do is that when you're doing showcases like this, always make sure you have a watermark. For example, Jolyn has a signature on hers. Usually I do mines by, um, what is it? Like, I usually do my watermark, like, could you, I, I would have someone make a watermark for me. So... Usually, if I had a watermark, I would usually put it, like, right here. So, this is my watermark. Always have a watermark, because then people could like, steal it and, like, claim it as theirs, and you don't want that. So, just have, like, a little watermark on the corner. Or you could have, like, like right here, or, like, on the clothes. But usually, I would have mine on the top corner that's near the clothes, but not hovering it. But, yeah, that's just an example. Always have a watermark on your showcase so that they don't get stolen or claimed from anyone else if that makes any sense i'm not good at explaining so yeah that's just an example um i guess another thing is um you can put this is like totally optional i don't really do it anymore because i think there's no point because you know i think there's no point in it anymore anymore but like you can like write down like the name of the group it's in on the showcase if that makes any sense so you could do like um i don't know what group this is in joel and so i'm just gonna make up some random name okay let's say this was in clover that's just an example pretend this was in clover right so you could have like Oh, you know what? Hold on. This is not a good example, actually. Oh, whoops. Okay, this is not a good example. Okay, so I'll give you another. Okay, so usually if I want to, usually I go to this website to get my epic cool fonts. So let's go with a cool, let's go with grunge. No, not grunge. Let's go, wait, let's just, let's search up Christmas. Search up Christmas. And let's go with, hmm. Something that it has to be readable. Make sure that it's readable when you're choosing like fonts and stuff. Um, so let's go with Club Era. This is like totally random. I don't know what group this is actually in, but that's just an example. So you do that. Maybe like change the color. Let's be like white and like like a reddish like that or something. Oh, actually, no, that looks that looks kind of weird. Like that and a full white actually no it's more of like red okay let's just make it look red okay so you just save it you just you make it any colors also effects and like other ways you can do your like make like you know effects on your font oh my god i keep stuttering okay so yeah you just do that do this do this oh it doesn't even match but you know what it's okay <laughs> 
and you just squeeze it in somewhere and just put it there and just put clavera or you put like your watermark i don't know but you could put the name of your group if you want to this is like totally optional um i also used to put the name of the title of the outfit here but that's also optional too just make it simple don't make it too crazy like even though my designs i mean my showcase are like kind of crazy like but not really just make it simple because you make it simple then it's easier to see as you can see it's, it's, it's easier to see um and yeah that's just an example of how i do my showcases or if you don't really like if you don't want to do showcases like these you can always like um do it like this where you just take a screenshot of your outfit it does give a better quality quality but like you know that also works too but yeah that is pretty much it all I gotta say is just make it simple. Don't make it too complex. Don't make it where it's like too many text. Just make sure you have a watermark over your thing and then you'll be good. You just post it wherever you want. Be like Twitter, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, that is how you make a showcase. See ya.